We have our own unique take on, on the springtime, and ours comes in the threat for, for stronger storms, and we have that pretty frequently from February really through the month of May. Today, during the daytime, there's no threat really of severe thunderstorms. There's not really a huge rain threat during the daytime. We're once again going to be looking at warm temperatures, 77 to about 82. We will have a lot more cloud cover today than we did yesterday and maybe some intermittent showers throughout the afternoon, but our severe window doesn't open until later on tonight. So let's talk about that. 10 p.m. tonight to 8 a.m. Saturday. That's our weather awareness window here for this Friday night to Saturday morning. 10 p.m. is when it opens for areas like Marion and Lamar counties. That'll be shifting to the east through about 3 a.m. in those same counties. Midnight to about 5 a.m. for locations like Utah along that I-2059 stretch all the way up to Gadsden. So that's a good chunk of central Alabama. 3 a.m. onward to about 8 o'clock. For areas further to the south and east, want to note we should see a general weakening with this line, but as we watch the evolution of this, it will have the potential for some severe weather. What we're seeing out ahead of this, this is at 10 o'clock tonight. Just showing you your future view. If we have these showers, uh, this will actually would be a good thing. Uh, you have rain out of, ahead of a, a line of potent thunderstorms that would likely weaken them, but uh, that's yet to come to fruition. But these would be sub severe. The line in question would be what is coming out of Mississippi later on uh, during the overnight hours. All right. So the initial threat will be more of a tornado threat and a wind threat. That's uh, as these storms come out of, say, West Tennessee and northern Mississippi. Closer to the front, closer to the surface low is going to be better chance of, of rotation and uh, sustainability sustained updrafts for tornadoes. But as this line moves further away from that parent front and as that surface low moves further to the north and away from our low level jet, this will turn into more of a gusty wind threat and it will not be this entire line. You look at this map and go, boy, there's strong line, strong winds along this entire line. No, it'd be few select thunderstorms. We move this ahead to about six o'clock and now it is uh, right along I-2059 areas to the north and west are clear. And as we get closer to the actual sunrise, we'll be seeing the end of the rain altogether heading into the rest of our Saturday forecast. Saturday of itself looks looks pretty good. Decreasing clouds throughout the day. We turn mostly sunny Saturday afternoon and Sunday. We're slightly cooler. That 44 will be a bit chilly on Sunday compared to near 80 degrees. And the next week a ridge builds, but we'll see rain chances along with warmer temperatures in the 80s.